Good morning. We are in New Palestine, Indiana, with my friend Billy J. Espick. Good morning again, sir. Good morning. For those who have just joined us, Billy J. does something unique. Really, there can't be more than a handful of guys in the country who do this. He restores safes. Before we show one of your safes, mm -hmm. this is a great story. What we are looking at now is a picture of a safe brought to you by, finish the story. This gentleman that drove up here from Maine yeah. without calling. That's kind of an interesting thing because he, he just kind of showed up. And he said, I got a couple safes I want a you to couple. look at. Yeah. yeah, he had two safes that was on this like uh, implement trailer mm -hmm. type thing. And I was like, okay, so he backs up and we look at the safes and I tell him, okay, what do you want to do with these safes? And he goes, well, I'm gonna leave them here. And it's like, okay, <laughs> and it's like, and he, yeah. he said, I just drove 26 hours from upper state Maine to bring these safes because to Because you. you were the guy. He was recommended yeah. by a friend yeah. in Fort Wayne and said I was the guy to restore okay, safes. Okay, now so. I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay. Because I'm gonna let you talk again in a second because I know you love to talk just like me. Here is what <laughs> that safe looks like now, correct? Yes. Open the doors, please. Okay, open the doors. Which, and I uh, want you to tell the folks at home, Billy J, what, would you come what kind of work it took on this. your part to make this all happen. Okay. Well, this thing was in horrible condition. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see that how it was during the and you know during the daytime, and of course a manager would have had a key to open it up to get to the jewelry. In this case, it was watches and jewelry. This is dated 1881, so this is a really old safe. I just finished all this. This is all original that I just touched up and made all back. I mean, the, the trees, the mountains, the water, all that stuff, I had to kind of redo the sky. Do you always know? Do you always know what the original looks like? Oh yeah, because oh, uh, it okay. was there, so yeah. I just had to kind of repair what needed to be repaired and then yeah. touch it up and then mm -hmm. make it look like it was all fresh again. Because these were all original oil paintings. But uh, So you want this to look as close to the as, original as possible? Yes, and this is original. The inside of this was, this is exact. I mean, you know, I just had to touch up some of the gold leaf because this was 23 karat gold leaf, This the lettering that's on here. But uh, as you can see, these, these safes in that period of time, you walked into a store, you know, you got to think there was no automobiles, there was, other than furniture, it was like, so when you walked into a company, business, whatever, the safes had to be like, wow, because there was color. It, well, they there were wasn't a lot of color back then. They were ornamental as well as utilitarian. Yes, they were okay. fireproof safes. I mean, the thickness of these safes, um, you know, it's six to eight inches of concrete and, pla you know, kind of a concrete plaster mix. And that kept them insulated away from fire because back in that time, everything was heated with wood or coal. So they... Uh, okay, I, we got to take a break here. Can we look at another safe? We can look at as many as you want. As, as I bet we can. We'll do that in, I, the, in the third segment. Stay with us.